we have to be aware of all these things and instead of you know going back into the past and regretting whatever we did or running into the future and worrying about the anxieties what's going to happen we should synchronize with the present moment and that's why we talk about it uh, what was that vasant vasant kya hai vasant yaane mijaj aur mausam ke bich samrasta when you synchronize your inside state of mind vasant that's the real spring real spring is not outside if you want to enjoy life the spring has to come from within so real spring is when your mijaj your state of mind and the mausam which is outside it synchronizes 100% that synchronicity is the key of pleasure and that can happen only when you can stay detached with every single moment that detachment comes in only if you have something to attach to which lets you because that's the nature of the mind again don't forget we gonna be using mind mind is beautiful thing even though it's giving us the problems right now there is nothing to hate about we just have to use the mind to realize the mind we have to put our mind to realize and put it so mind likes to attach itself somewhere so whether is attaching to the objects people or situations or is attaching to something to advait which is infinite which is permanent why would you choose something that is finite choosing a finite does not stay with you all the time so ultimately when the finite does not remain with you you suffer so mind requires to attach somewhere that is the nature of the mind and there is nothing wrong with it but only we have the capacity to find out what where we can put our mind which is unchangeable permanent that can never fail you you don't have to make any efforts to go anywhere you do not need any material objects or anything not even the senses to reach to that state i had one patient he had he lost his vision actually he had a macular degeneration mm-hmm. and uh, he believes in religion and spirituality and all these things and and uh, i i told him you know maybe you should meditate because meditation is something that stays with you the rest of your life till the last moment of your life you can meditate because meditate does not require the senses you may become blind you can still meditate you may become deaf but you, you can, can still have a vision you can still <laughs> have a vision a vision without a vision you can still have spiritual vision the spiritual vision can stay with you for rest of your life you don't need ears you don't need touch you don't need smell you are beyond the senses so he says yeah yeah i tried that but my vision didn't come back you know <laughs> <laughs> so he missing out the focus you know he is not focused on, he he totally lost out on the meaning of meditation so that's why the jesus he was expecting too much well no but he never left the vision of this world yeah. for him this world was the reality yeah. the meditation is not about this world that's right he, you, we went to a buddhist temple right. and and i was uh, i just told that you know i also teach meditation he says no no but we teach buddhist meditation yeah, there you go <laughs> <laughs> so there are different meditations again when you differentiate buddhist meditation with non buddhist yeah. money comes at then i can teach you yeah <laughs> <laughs> so that's the problem and the jesus writes uh, in the bible uh, some of the stories that he made because he was supposed to create miracles and he says i saw one guy who was blind and i thought he was suffering so i gave him the vision and the next time i saw him he was running after prostitutes <laughs> <laughs> what did he do with the vision mm-hmm. that he got our vision literally has to fold you have to utilize our senses to fold within at that time believe it or not our inner attitudes all the senses we will need when we go into that infinite space the vision folds itself back and looks at the beauty even with the eyes closed looks at the beauty of parmatma when your ears stop listening to the outside world it starts listening to the silence silence has a magical quality that you can listen to and all the senses will come in handy but now instead of running outwards is running inside 
So the inside consciousness has to come alive and dictate your life rather than the senses. In our life, Arjun is driving our chariot and Krishna is sitting there in the chariot. We are worshipping Krishna, but we are keeping at his own place. Krishna is the consciousness. Consciousness has that power to take you to ultimate state. But Arjun is all mesmerized by the outside world, his uncles, his cousins. He's deviating from his responsibilities. So his mind is baffled by all these material aspects of life. So Arjun is becoming the charioteer. And no wonder the chariot is going haywire. So we have to put Krishna in the chariot as a part of the charioteer. And Arjun can stay behind. Then Krishna is leading our chariot. And then you cannot go to wrong places. So that higher level of awareness is what is needed in every single action that we do. And when that happens, our Gita gets fixed. Otherwise, Gita goes in the wrong way. So much for today. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.